William Bradley was born the son of a carpenter in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And when he was very young, his dad died. Well, when he was 12 years old, Mama died. And there's no grandpa, no government program, nothing. So he had to get a job. He washed dishes, helped to cook at the hotel, he ran errands, did whatever he could. Eventually, after a period of time, he saved up $27. And he bought some novelties and sold them house to house. He used that money and bought some more stuff. And his uh, philosophy was, if I pay a dollar for it, I'm going to charge $2 to whoever buys it. And eventually he had plenty. He uh, went for he even toured with the circus and sold the stuff to the patrons. He found a way to California. Well, that didn't work out. It, the gold wasn't as neat as it sounded. So he came back uh, to uh, Iowa. And in Winterset, he was 30 years old. He, he met Amanda Carpenter. And they got married. And they eventually settled in Centerville. Well, he was doing a little bit better in Centerville, and he bought a great big store, and one of the biggest stores in town, and he was selling a lot of stuff. But in the meantime, people kept asking to borrow money, so he'd lend them a little bit. Eventually, he opened up a bank, and then he opened up another bank in another town. Uh, he started the first national bank in Centerville, which eventually became quite a successful operation, but he ended up a millionaire when he died with nine banks total in Milan and Unionville and several other towns around here. Now I want to talk about the kids. He, had, uh, he and Amanda had four children. David Campbell Bradley, uh, Olive, uh, William Jr. and what was the third one? James. James. William Jr. was being groomed to become the president of the bank. He died at age 24. Well, uh, Olive, she was the apple of his eye. And she met a guy named uh, Frank Crapple. Uh, Albert Frank Albert Krappel. She met him on the train and they got married and they had a child, William Krappel, in 19, 1891. Or 1889, pardon me. In 91, she died. They, uh, Sharon, my wife, she works at the courthouse. There was no mention on any of the newspapers that we read how she died. Well, she died of a ruptured colon. And this Albert Crapple was run out of town. And uh, he was not allowed, to, no one was allowed to see him or, or to have anything to do with him. We found out she died of a ruptured colon, which was kind of weird. And they think he had something to do with her passing. And that's an important element in the rest of the story that we'll get to. So, young William Crapple is two years old. He's an orphan all of a sudden. Grandpa remembers being an orphan, so he took him in and kept him at the house. The house he lived in was built in 1869, and that's the one we live in now. And at the time, it was the nicest mansion in town, and he uh, went to Chicago and got the uh, architects to design it. Uh, he had the best carpenters and uh, brick masons around. The bricks were made uh, here in Centerville. Uh, Pem Pem Pemberton Brick Company, I think it was. And uh, it turned out pretty nice. William Crapo lived in the house. Now I want to get discuss the house. Uh, he lived in the house till the 19, I think, late 59. 
and lived there all his life. But in the 50s, he lost a leg due to diabetes. And so he had to remodel some of the stuff. He put a bedroom in the, in the first floor. And uh, when he passed away, he wanted to make sure that the funeral procession went by the house.